Hey to everyone out there. Um, thank you for checking out my YouTube page. I hope you've been having a blessed week. Everything been going in your favor, anointing. I just want to hop on real quick and someone needed to know about daddy issues. Um, a lot of us, some of us may have parent, no parents that's not there, parent that didn't show up. Um, and this is a personal experience for me, for me being a parent and also being someone's child. Um, my mom had mental issues, so she was in and out of my life. My father didn't have no reason. He just didn't show up. Um, and with me being a parent, I have children and their father. I don't want to call him a deadbeat, nothing like that. But we, you know, just to be transparent, we struggle to co-parent because of a mindset of, you know, what is a father? How do a father um, raise their kids? And, and like right for a mother, what is a mother? What do um, a mother do in the household? How do she raise her kids? And everything go back to God. Everything go back to having a relationship with God and allowing him to direct and order out your patterns in life. And with that being said, a lot of times we hear, and I'm, once again, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm talking from my point of view, my experience, and and a stereotype. Mothers cannot do it by herself. And that's, that. I mean, to be honest, that's the truth. Mother cannot do it by herself. But to make women that feel bad, that really, you know, that didn't have a choice in the relationship once they, you know, they were in a relationship and it ended for whatever reason, if it had been for adultery, abuse, uh, just weren't getting them alone. You know, sometimes the father, you know, lead the relationship. We stigmatize the woman to make her feel she can't raise the kids by herself. And, of course, the children grow up with having that absent parent issue. But one thing we forget is, you know, God is a supplier. God is a provider. Um, Jehovah, he shows up. Um, he upholds the righteous. Because guess what? No one is perfect. There are issues that are going on in people's life. And as I said, this is something that's in my life, an absent parent. And I'm not bitter about it. I'm not mad about it. Because you know why? I learned that God stepped in. He stepped in even more. Because I didn't have my mother, my father. He provided love through other people he provided knowledge when i wasn't given knowledge from parental guidance he provided and if he did it for me i'm expecting him to do it for my children i'm expecting him to show me how to step in being a mother i'm not gonna step in being the father i'm gonna stay stay in my role but being the best mother I can be to the best of my ability. And that the thing that I cannot do as a father, the thing that I cannot show my boy, the things I cannot show my girl as a father, that he will fill that void in their life. But that's a prayer mind. That's a prayer request I made. Because I can't force their father to do things. I can not I can only ask. And then when he don't, I take it to God and I say, God, Please, you know, show up. Please, Father, provide the rain. And people forget it's in the Bible written. If God will provide homes and places for the animal, what more will he do for his children? God is a provider. And that's not only for financial. That's not only for a home, a car, or a job. He's a provider of your spiritual, your wisdom, and the thing that you need for love, to grow maturely in that. So to anyone out there that's struggling, they say, well, I feel abandoned by my own parent, by my own father, by my own mother. I, I, I will suggest that you implore God in your life and say, fill that void. Fill that void. 
Surround me with your love. Surround me with your wisdom. For parents that have kids now that growing up and you have to struggle with the co-parent thing, let it be the same. Let that be your prayer request. That God will help you and on what to do in that area. That he would, you know, if he send help, he would send wisdom to fill that lack of that parental role that's missing. I hope that helps someone today. I hope that bless someone. Please like, share, leave your comment and feedback. Until then, stay in grace, grow in love, and live by faith.